And on these hot summer days, we see constant warnings and advice to keep you and your children safe while you're outdoors. But veterinarians want to remind you to remember your pets as well. Yeah, vets in our area say they've seen an uptick in cases of burn, paws, and even heat exhaustion in dogs. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton has the story. It's heartbreaking because the dog doesn't have a voice to say it's too hot, my feet are burning. That's why Bobby Parton is using her voice to speak up. She's a lifelong dog lover and can't stand seeing any pet in pain. It's heartbreaking um, and nobody wants to see that with her pet. Parton posted these graphic photos she found online to Facebook. She's seen burnt paw pad cases firsthand. They were out walking the family pet. One was a puppy and the young girl was just kind of, I guess she thought the dog was fighting her to walk. And I stopped her and asked her, you know, do you know how hot the road is? And at that point, her puppy's paws were completely red. Right now, just after 8 o'clock Tuesday night, it's 88 degrees according to my cell phone. But when you look at the pavement, check this out. 120. Posing the question, how hot outside does it need to be before it poses harm to your pets? High 70s can equal 125 degrees on the asphalt after about an hour or two. Dr. J, her eyes, hasn't seen a dog with burnt paw pads yet, but it's something his team prepares for and something families should be aware of. One of the frustrating things about it is many of those problems you won't see till hours later sometimes. So you may come off the asphalt and your dog's paws may be really red, but the blisters and things like that won't start until possibly that evening while you're going to bed.